The word android comes from Greek and means shaped like a man. The world's most popular operating system thinks like you and me, and that's no coincidence. Why Android resembles us all, for now. Back in 2003, when humans first achieved to map their own genes and mobile phones still had antennas, Android Inc. was a small startup with big plans and little cash. Saved from getting kicked out of their office by an envelope of cash dropped off by a friend, its founders had an idea for making digital cameras easier to use. They were quick to realize that their project could do way better than that, and it caught the attention of then search giant Google, who had brought them into the fold. The team set out to change the world, with devices aware of where we are and what we want to do. They were beaten to inventing the smartphone by Apple. But while the limelight was shining elsewhere, a plan was set in motion with wider reaching consequences than a new phone could have. A platform that could power any phone. Google's Android team was joined by tech companies from all over the world to work on this master plan. In late 2007, the Android Open Source Project was born and it would turn out to be the mirror image of the diverse global team of experts helping to build it. What makes it so special? Think of the system as a construction set, interlocking bricks of different shapes and colors, enabling you to build anything you can dream up and undo to rebuild just as easily. A bridge can turn into a tower, a zoo, or Tower Bridge Zoo. It gives mobile developers the tools to unlock new functionalities by combining different features like building blocks, creating devices ever better at catering to our needs, or meeting needs we didn't know we had. Android is an open and inclusive project at its core, but it comes bundled with software that isn't. If the locked features become unavailable to parts of the community, the building blocks risk falling apart, putting a cap on the developer's imagination and making their constructions unstable. The smaller the number of elements that interlock, the less things we can do with them. An operating system that resembles us needs to feed on the minds and dreams of the community that is building and using it. <laughs> 